Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and I'm here to share the details of the update pushed out by Smileboom today for RPG developer Bucking. I'm going to read the patch notes verbatim, and I might have a little bit of commentary interweaved in there, so let's just get started. The update is version 1.0.5, and the contents are the following bug fixes. Fixed a problem that caused maps to become abnormally bright in newly created projects, etc. The problem was occurring in some locales, including German and Dutch. If you are still experiencing the problem after having this correction, please contact us through the Contact Us page. Fixed a problem in which BakingBattle.dll would not start if not allowed to run by its properties for publishing work. With this modification, no special work is required to unzip a published work into a zip file using Explorer. Fixed a problem where the Raycast panel was firing from the feet, making it very difficult to detect the player, among other things. From this version onward, as previewed in the panel, it will be fired from an elevation of 0.5 squares from the ground. If you have already implemented events in a way that depends on the previous behavior, we apologize for the inconvenience, but please correct this manually. Fixed a bug that caused an exception when using a skill with no effect and common assignment for both allies and enemies on the map. Fixed a bug that prevented recovery from events during battles for conditions other than KO. Fixed a bug that prevented the event panel Recover Reduce Battle Cast's HP MP from working in battles. Fixed a problem in which a weapon item with one step forward when acting could cause a monster with not moving specified to take one step backward when using a skill item or other. Fixed a problem in which the camera with the gazing target set to world coordinates would not animate correctly when game definition, rules and operations, camera get behind the player automatically was turned on. Fixed a problem in which pressing the F key with a common event or battle event selected in the common event palette would move the display range of the map editor to distant coordinates. Fixed a bug that sometimes caused the position of the splitter for database and resources to fluctuate unintentionally when the asset picker was opened. Fixed a bug where WAV files were not being processed properly for playback. The section Game Definition, Execution Engine Definition, Font which was not reflected due to specification changes during development, has been removed. The font can be changed from the configuration settings in the top menu. Modified the various house, wall, 01 through 03 models on the 3D stamps for the following three projects. Newly created project, normal assets. Sample game, orb stories. House Pack Volume 1 Free DLC. In addition, we have fixed several issues that were identified in the crash reports we received from our users so that crashes do not occur. The team is deeply grateful to everyone who helped inform us about bugs. Thank you so much. We will continue our efforts to improve RPG developer Bakking. So there you have it. Smileboom is watching the bugs very closely. They are watching the crashes very closely. And as long as these continue to get communicated through the official channels, contact us, Steam discussions, Discord, then they can continue to monitor, investigate, and address these crashes and bugs and any other unintentional behavior. And by the way, if you have problems with RPG Developer Bakking or you need general help or support on how to use the tool, let's say you need to ask if it has a certain feature or how to do a particular thing, you can join the official RPG Developer Bakking and Smile Game Builder Discord linked in the description below. If you do currently use the Discord for reporting bugs and crashes, I want to thank you for your support in helping get this engine the best that it can be, the best that it deserves to be. If you've used this engine during this early access phase and gotten frustrated with it and have given up and have already written it off and you're not going to use it, I just want you to know that communicating the issues that you have can help a lot of people and it can help bring this tool to a place where you might not have to experience that frustration. And more importantly, other people can start out not having to experience that frustration, making them want to give up to begin with. This tool has shown itself to be very, very awesome, and it's not without its bugs and issues, just like any other program, especially during this early access phase. This was all part of the plan to get the community to come in with their crazy ideas, their infinitely scalable projects, and try to break the engine and everything therein. And this is the kind of stuff that the team needs to see so that they can, again, address it, fix it. Thank you everybody so much for watching and please stay tuned. I will very likely see you yet again later today. In addition to all of the other things that I'm doing, I wish to become the premier source for Bakin education. I have a lot of work ahead of me, but I will get there. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Until next time and bye for now.